within the practice of personal self-care, apart from chanting the Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, we have to carry out a balanced diet, and a strict regimen of physical exercises, such as the Hatha Yoga, especially now that we are going through this challenging situation of the COVID-19 pandemic. To be fully alert and focus on our actions and feelings within our daily life, we have to start to discipline ourselves. With the vibratory resonance of Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, we can achieve maximum wisdom. Wisdom is a Hebrew and Aramaic word that means knowledge and expertise. It is the highest degree of knowledge, prudent conduct in life or business, in-depth knowledge in science, philosophy, and letters, or arts. On a social level, wisdom enables people to listen to others, evaluate what they say, and offer sound advice, providing a form of social support. Therefore we must be aware of our actions, and for this, we have to train by exercising our mind, spirit, and body daily. This is why our daily practice of self-care begins in the morning with a minimum of 10 minutes chanting Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. The Doctrine of Enlightenment, the new title replaces the word Buddhism, this practice initially offers clear and practical advantages, beginning with a festive spirit that rises from deep within hopeful challenge rather than resigned defeat. This, in turn, leads to wisdom and constructive action to transform whatever negative situations you have to deal with. To start practicing, try to invoke Namu Myoho Renge Kyo for, say, a minimum of 5 minutes in the morning and at night each day. Reserve the necessary time and find a quiet place where you will not disturb anyone. It can be a bedroom or a living room. Sit up straight and comfortable, breath calmly, and if possible, Look at an empty wall area or a neutral background that is not distracting. The fingertips should be below the chin level. Your hands together at chest level, the fingertips pointing upward. Avoid putting your hand in front of your mouth. This causes distortion of the original sound vibrations of the mantra. Don't be discouraged if you feel a little bored. You don't need to think about anything in particular or think about the meaning of the phrase. Try to invoke with a rhythmically and joyful feeling. Your feeling from your heart plays an important role in our practice. The feeling replaces faith. We trust in our own abilities, and our feeling will manifest, or materialize our desire or goal. If you wish, you can chant much more than 5 minutes. In times of personal crisis, when a family member or loved one has a severe illness, affiliates that used to practice with the Saka Gakai International SGI, sometimes invoke for several hours at a time stopping only to have a drink of water or attend to other needs. With us the NSHS, you don't have to become fanatical towards the actual self-care practice of chanting Daimoku. You can invoke the mystic law's vibrational resonance as often as you like, and please your heart. The important thing is to be consistent. The discipline of invoking morning and night brings a fresh new rhythm into existence that has in itself, a salutary effect. Increasing hope, improving a relationship, being more motivated. These are some of the many beneficial spiritual and emotional effects that people have noticed when starting our self-care practice. Besides, beginners are often motivated to chant to achieve specific goals and focus on achieving a clear and concrete goal. For example, if you are a seller, you can pray to get a higher commission or exceed it. If you are a musician, you can pray to master a complicated piece. These goals are concrete. In general, you may want to write poems or plays, but you have been forced to do work that has nothing to do with your dream. In that case, your dream may be to take small steps that advance you by working during your free time to achieve your artistic goal. Acquiring tangible advantages by invoking the mystic law, the practitioner will discover how his entire frame of reference changes. Impossible dreams become genuine goals. As beginners gain experiences, they discover that they solve their fundamental problems and experience profound changes. Some of the many results that can be expected when following the self-care practice are 11 benefits of the doctrine of enlightenment practice. 1. Wisdom, it is the ability to obtain the optimal value of the knowledge that one has. 2. Understanding the eternity of life or the law of cause and effect, when we practice and observe how the law of cause and effect works, we begin to see life as a series of causes and effects that extend from the past to the future, rather than a moment after moment existence. 3. Persistence and tolerance, the ability to cope with circumstances and cultivate patience and resistance to work positively with the obstacles that appear. 
4. Serenity, calm during the dynamic turbulence of life. 5. Good surroundings, it means that negative influences or people evaporate from our lives. 6. The truth of all the phenomena of life, develop a correct vision of reality, and reduce death's fear. 7. Improvement of temperament. 8. Mercy, a more incredible feeling of mercy and the capacity for empathy with people. 9. Understanding the truth, this self-care practice is a practical, concrete, and transparent philosophy of life, and thus we become people with practical, concrete, and clear minds. 10. Strength of purpose, a life condition that cannot be overthrown even by seemingly impossible challenges or difficulties to overcome. 11. Enlightenment, the condition of absolute happiness where every moment is appreciated and enjoyed. Note. The most valuable change obtained with this practice is the increased control that we develop over our destiny, becoming owners of it, and this gives us the measure of how much we enjoy life. We can overcome any obstacle with the life force and wisdom that emerge within us by chanting, Namu, Mayao, Renge, Kyo, Rome was not built in a day. And it simply isn't possible to fix every issue on the first day you chant. Karma accumulated over a lifetime, at least, it is like rust on a silver tray, daimoku is like a powerful polisher, and karma in our body is like a silver tray that must be carefully polished to remove it, day after day. But, rarely, people who invoke the mystical law with absolute sincerity, and constancy, do not notice any symptoms or benefits, a breakthrough at work, a one-off call from a friend who has not known anything for a long time, unforeseen money income, or simply realize that you are smiling more and that others respond to them differently. This does not mean that you should have the conviction that it will happen from the beginning. It is natural to have doubts. Safety and self-care practice begins when you first taste it to see. This deepens over time as its effect is demonstrated tangibly. Doubt is an element that those who practice have to deal with. Faith and doubt correspond and complement each other. There is no true faith if there is doubt. These were the words of the German author Hermann Hesse. The fundamental thing is to use your doubts as fuel to find the answers to your questions. Each time we receive benefits from the Mystic Law's invocation, we will feel encouraged to continue. Thank you for watching. Please watch my videos on YouTube. Aristoteles.